just wanted to do a quick update showing my new PF Sense box. Uh, this right here was given to me the other day by a buddy. It's actually, uh, you can kind of see under here, Ryobri DDoS Appliance RE Series. It's great hardware, but their software is one of those things where you need to pay ridiculous amounts to renew the license every year. Um, but yeah, this is basically, I was able to unlock the BIOS. Uh, I put SATA drive in there, got PFSense up and running. Uh, you should see how they had their OS boot, and I'll show you in just a second. But yep, you can see those two white cables on my LAN and LAN. They go into the back there, and it's just a, your average super micro board. It's a Core i3 with three. I'm sorry, with eight gigabytes of RAM. There is the back. All right, but yeah. So when I first got this thing, and you open the case up, there's no hard drive in there. And that's because, actually, it boots off of this thing over here. Let me just grab it real quick. It boots off of this, which I guess is their USB drive. I don't know why they chose this option over a, a hard drive. But it booted into some kind of Linux kernel. You can see it even has, like, handwriting on it. So I don't know who did that, but um, it boots into some kind of Linux kernel for that Ryo Resoft over there. Uh, it was all you know, password protected, proprietary, but still. Uh, nonetheless, I thought that was pretty funny how their main boot disk was just a little USB stick. But yeah, I used this to boot PFSense. I put a uh, SATA drive into the box there. Uh, just a little old laptop, I think like 25 gigabyte drive or something. PFSense doesn't use much at all. And uh, you can see they got the LAN indicator lights and everything. And I'm really happy with this performance so far. I mean, like I said, Core i3, 8 gigs of RAM for a PFSense box, it's beautiful. Uh, I'll be up upgrading to uh, 750 megabit per second internet here pretty soon, thanks to Verizon. Uh, so, looking forward to that. Looking forward to the speed boost that PFSense will give me. And then just to come up here a little bit, just to do a little quick rack update. I got both of my rackable 2Us online. Let's see here. Uh, this one is my main one. Runs all my services for businesses and everything. This hosts, you know, CCTV camera servers, this hosts payment servers, unified controllers, all sorts of stuff. Uh, this is my development box. I just throw whatever I want on here that's not really, like, super critical, like Plex or whatever. Uh, but those are my two main rackable servers. They both run Proxmox at the moment, 16 gigs of RAM, and Dual. Uh, each one has two Xeon E5450 CPUs, I believe, I think. And then up here is the newest addition to the family. Uh, this right here is a Core 2 Quad uh, Super Micro. It doesn't say it. It says uh, AME Rack Mount Set C, but it's a Super Micro board on the inside. Um, two hard drive bays. See there? At the moment, I'm just using the one um, because I'll, I'll explain in a second. Uh, but yeah, basically, if, if you don't know, uh, there's a good, uh, awesome YouTuber out there, Morton York. I probably butchered, uh, butchered your last name. I'm sorry, but my playhouse on YouTube. Great guy. Does a bunch of videos on server stuff. But basically, uh, this thing right here, I'm gonna put it, make VMware run off it, uh, because he's always doing VMware videos. And I've been an avid Proxmox fan, but I've actually never touched VMware, and I think the experience will be good. So I'm gonna install it on here. This thing will become my new test server for VMware, and uh, that's why I'm only using the one hard drive bay instead of both, because uh, VMware doesn't support software RAID. See, I'm running software RAID on all here. And I know, I know, it's so terrible, but I mean, I've, I've seen great performance with it, so I don't know. I'm going to keep it. I like it. Uh, but yeah, this guy's going to become my VMware server. So maybe I'll do a video on that. But that's basically my new network. I kind of condensed everything down. You can see the old PFSense box is out now. Uh, just That was just an old Pentium 4. It was crashing too often, and I just figured it's time to get rid of it. Uh, I got my little NAS still chugging away. UPS. Uh, dead server case, spare hard drives if you, if you ever need them. And then my network switch, I tried to clean it up a little bit, free up some ports. You can see there's a few open ones there now. Uh, yeah, as you can obviously see, there's a few open ones. So hopefully I'll have some more room for there to do stuff. But that's basically my quick update. I'm going to be doing more pretty soon. Uh, but yeah, that's my new additions, the PF Sense box and this Core 2 Quad thing, which is going to be running VMware very soon. Alright, thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next video.